What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today's video I wasn't actually going to do but I'm making so much money with it that I thought I might as well go and share it with you. This is something very very small but I'm hoping that all of you are doing this and if you are not doing this from now and this point onwards you should definitely be doing this because it is something very very small that could be making you a lot of money. And that is pretty much just always have the metal detector out. This is something that if you have progressed through the collector you do not have to progress that high or you you need to do is get to rank 5, you then need to go and get some unlock tokens to unlock the metal detector and also you need to go and spend $700. Now the $700 definitely puts off quite a few people but you can easily go and make that money back. With the metal detector you are easily able to go and find arrowheads as well as different coins located around the world of Red Dead and with that they are the most expensive items you can get, especially the coins. The coins if you can go and complete as a set that's 15 different coins and if you get one of each, you could be making yourself around $500, which is an insane amount. All you need to do is go and complete that set twice and you've made your money back as a collector for going to buy that metal detector. But even if you do not worry about the coins, you will just naturally be making your money back. What I've been doing is no matter where I'm riding to, I don't really use fast travel that much unless I'm in a rush to go and do a video. I will normally just ride around either doing a bounty hunter, doing the trader. If there is a location I need to go to which is on the other side of the map I will definitely just take my time and travel over there but no matter what it is I'm doing these days I always have the metal detector out it does not affect the speed of my horse which means it's not going to force me to go at a walking pace whilst it's out I can still go and gallop and sprint with my horse likewise if I have just pulled it out and I'm on foot I can still sprint at a normal speed whilst this is out it doesn't make any difference whatsoever you can go and pull the metal detector out whether or not you're in free road you can do it in different dynamic events you can go and do it in bounty hunting or if you're doing something for the trader you can go and do it within other missions stranger missions you can even go and bring it out in free roam events and the reason you want to go and bring it out is because you do not really know when this gonna go off to say that there is something nearby I know recently there have been a few people that have brought out maps as well as different locations to go and get certain objects but even with them not every time they spawn in that area and sometimes it looks Looks like certain objects or certain collectibles actually swap different locations so this may be an ongoing thing by having a metal detector out and just playing this game as it should you can go across and just be roaming doing whatever it is you are doing and then all of a sudden halfway through your dynamic event or halfway through your bounty hunting your controller will start vibrating to say that there is a collectible close by and that will either be an arrowhead or it will be a coin you then take the time to go and dig that up and then you are on your way again it does not take too long to go and take a quick detour just to go and get this collectible and then carry on with what you are doing but anyway guys this is just a very quick video some of you guys might feel like this is a very very small tip and yes you are 100% correct this is a very small tip but it can give you a lot of money and if you carry on doing this no matter what it is you're doing within Red Dead Online always bring out the metal detector you will always go and get collectibles no matter where you go and that in itself will eventually go and pay for the metal detector which you spent $700 going to get and it will not take you too long to actually be in profit for this collector role. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.